this flash in ActionScript 3 lesson, which is accompanied by a free source file that you can download from developphp.com in the Flash tab, we'll be understanding how to program in our numeric stepper component from our components library. If you ever want to gather quantities in a form type situation or e-commerce type situation from a user, we'll show you how to do that. They can select manufacturer, quantity, and place order. There you go. Enjoy. Okay, I'm going to create new Flash Action Script 3 file. And in the first layer, I'm going to type in BG, that's background. Make another layer. Call it Form Elements. And the next layer up, name that one AS3 because that's where we'll put the code. There's not going to be much code at all. Five or six lines, I think. And so, what we'll do is first set up the background. Well, let's first change our stage size. Let's make it not so high, maybe 300 by 550 is good. Okay, now let's put the background on. I'm just going to place a rectangle, make it white with a black edge. Okay, now the form elements, which we're going to focus on the numeric stepper, but in this lesson, I'm going to work with the components a little more manually than I have in previous lessons. So let's first bring out the numeric stepper. And let's place that right here. Let's also grab a button. It's going to be our submit button or place order button. And let's also grab a combo box. I'm going to show you how to populate these a little more manually. So for this item here, the combo box, which will be a pull down, let's give it an instance name of CB underscore MC. Combo box movie clip. And here we're going to name this NS underscore MC. So now we have numeric stepper and combo box, both have instance names. Let's give this one an instance name of submit button underscore btn submit underscore btn now on the button let's go to the parameters tab here let's change the label to say place order and I figured the best way to show you how the numeric stepper works and to access the values of it would be in a form type situation where the user is selecting quantities so that's all we need on that button we have an instance name that's good. The numeric stepper, we can go into the parameters here. And you should note that you can dynamically render numeric steppers to stage like we've been doing with all of our other components in the previous component tutorials. But I just wanted to show you how you can work with it manually as well here in the parameters tab if you chose to. And you can have a little more control over things if you do it this way okay so the maximum will be 10 let's make the maximum 8 the minimum will be 1 they have to order at least one tire the step size is 1 it'll increment by 1 and starting value is 1 that's good and so the enabled button or the enabled value or enabled property is set to true. Okay, so that's all we need. Now let's make it a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be that big. Let's set it to 40 since we're only going to have two digits in it. Okay. Now all we need is a status text field. Dynamic text. Let's draw it out. make it black give an instance name of status 
underscore txt multi line show border yeah we can show border that's fine and now let's see all we need is my submit button go there it is there let's put these over here place order button right there okay now let's add some static text that'll say select tire manufacturer Let's make that static. Size it out. Make it aligned right. There we go. Select the manu tire manufacturer. Control C, Control V. Now select quantity. Give that a colon there. Okay. So we have select quantity and tire manufacturer. Okay, now let's bring our text field back into place here. And this is where the order will display once they press place order after they selected what they'd like. So the only thing we need left is the the data providing information for this combo box. So let's go to parameters here. See data provider? Let's go ahead and access that by double clicking. You see a values window will come up. You press the plus sign here. You make the first label say Bridgestone. And this can have <coughs> data of Bridgestone and let's add one more Goodyear this can have data of good underscore year one more let's see Michelin that can have a data value of Michelin okay now press OK and you'll have your values in there now if you want one more that says select here you can just add it and make sure it's at the top so you can use these arrows to move your items up and down and if you want one that says please select the manufacturer here or select here you can add that, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. Let's see what happens if we press Control Enter. That's good. We can select that and use our numeric stepper. There's our place order button. Okay, all we need is a little bit of code to tie everything together, and I'll explain thoroughly what's going on. Okay, so let's highlight our AS3 layer keyframe and then press F9 open the actions panel let's type in submit underscore BTN because this is really where everything is going to happen is in the click function of the submit button submit underscore BTN dot add event listener so we'll add event listener and inside the parentheses here this is going to be mouse event dot click when the button gets clicked we're going to run a function called place order so we fire off the place order function right when that button gets clicked the submit button and now let's type in that function here function 
place order and open close parentheses colon void open curly brace close curly brace and in between the parentheses here let's type in event colon mouse event there we go now we have a function nest all set up now we're going to target that status text field so we say status underscore txt dot text equals I'm going to display the order so let's put in a string here it's going to say order details <coughs> and backslash n backslash n to make two line breaks in that field that multi-line field that we created there now let's grab that line and we're going to append some text to that that field so we don't need this to claim that text right there we're going to claim append text so it'll add to it pen text get rid of the equal sign and put this in parentheses whatever you want to append let's make sure there's only one line break there let's get rid of that order details and right here and let's type in right here we're going to type in manufacturer space and we're going to add to that the CB combo box that selected item dot label or you can do data and I'll show you a little about that in a second status underscore well let's just go ahead and grab this whole thing you see now we're going to add the quantity so we say ns underscore mc which is our numeric stepper and all we have to do is say value and that will access the value so we can send it in a form if the person's buying something from us or whatever now let's see it looks good to me. Let's try it out. Press Control Enter. Select Tire Manufacturer. I'll select Goodyear. Quantity you can go up to eight. I'm just going to select four Goodyear tires. Place order. Order details. Manufacturer Goodyear. Manufacturer four. That means we didn't change this word. Just say quantity. There we go. No biggie. So let's say Michelin 3. There we go. Manufacturer Michelin, quantity 3. So basically that's a little form. And that's the best, I would say that's the most commonly used, or that's what the numeric stepper would be most commonly used for. Actually all of these items would be used in a form type scenario or an e-commerce application type situation. Let's move these over a little bit and bring in some custom graphics from Fireworks. So it's not so blah. Okay, on the background layer I'm going to add that. It's going to bring it in as a movie clip. Press OK. There we go. Put a little text. Buying buy your tires here let's get that text a little funky I'm a little bit creative it's terrible 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 that's fine
Okay. So there you have it, folks.